Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I am great. Out of focus. What's that all about? Time for another fern Friday and another plant that doesn't like to focus. Fine. This fern is new to me, so this will be more of a brief video because I'd like for this to be like a plant chat, a discussion, lots of stuff going on in the comments. What we have here, what I'm working with, is the Nephrolepis exaltata. The variety is called Cotton Candy. Another moisture-loving, very fun, frilly-looking fern. The Cotton Candy fern is supposed to get, I believe, around two feet by two feet, a little bit shorter than two feet. They sort of, what I've seen in pictures, have a spreading habit and look really fluffy, like something kind of like Cotton Candy. When I first saw this, I was like, hey, this reminds me of spike moss, but more unruly. And I was thinking since it's a Nephrolepis exaltata, that name might sound familiar because the Boston fern is Nephrolepis exaltata bostoniensis, which is a super easy fern. But th that doesn't mean anything because this one, I'm noticing it's not so easy. It's not the hardest fern either, but this spent, this fern spent one day with part of it leaning up against the pot. Look what happened. <laughs> that's, from, that's from one day of it being pressed up against the side of another plant. With the texture like this, I was thinking this would look great in a terrarium, but if it needs more airflow, clearly this is a plant that likes airflow. So a terrarium maybe wouldn't be the way to go. I'm not really sure. I do, however, think it would look really neat in a hanging basket since it does look like it kind of falls over a little bit that would look neat hanging off the side of a basket maybe that's what i'll end up doing with it there'll be plenty of air circulation in a basket it does just like the other ferns like a nice organically rich well-draining soil something that will hold on to some moisture but not stay stopping wet you know, the things with the fern fridays things are going to get a little bit redundant if the ferns are like crazy different from each other and there's a lot of common things between them like needing the good drainage and higher humidity and whatnot i will say though i haven't been misting this one and it's not drying out i've only had to water it one time i've had it for about a week and a half so the soil that it's in is good at holding on to moisture and it didn't show me any signs that it needed to be watered so it got a little bit too dry but it didn't skip a beat from that it wasn't like with the maiden hair fern where when you let that dry out for too long it gets really wilty really sad looking and then you give it a drink and hopefully it'll perk right back up for you. I didn't even really know that this one needed to be watered. I went ahead just kind of put my finger in there and was like, oh, you are bone dry. And then I lifted it up and I'm like, hey, this doesn't weigh anything at all. Now that happened after this. This happened the first day I had the fern. I brought it home and I set it on one of my plant stands on my tables and it was just a little bit too close to something that was taller and then yeah, that happened. That's all right though. Lesson learned, make more sense to stick this tag back here since that side of the pot's already kind of unattractive. Another option, since it does seem to have that swoopy drooping habit to it in the pictures I've seen anyways, would be to put this in just a tall kind of slender planter or one of those ones that's on the little wooden stands that are very trendy right now. That'll give it the height that it needs to droop down and kind of swoop. I think that'll look cool. It doesn't seem to be too particular about humidity considering I haven't really had to mist it like I do typically with my other ferns. Not so much in here in my grow space, However, humidity has been a little bit lower than normal because I have some repairs I need to make to the plastic that's surrounding everything in here. So some of the moist air has been getting out. This is actually higher. It was like 33% earlier today. So still not too terribly picky. I think as long as the soil is moist, like consistently moist all the way through, that maybe humidity isn't going to be as much of an issue for this. 33% is still plenty higher than like really arid environments. If you live in like Arizona, Wyoming, someplace where the air is really, really dry then yeah, it might need to be misted. I think this would look really pretty companion planted. What I mean by that, what I mean by companion planted is that having something growing above this and having this growing below it, that might look really awesome since it does have a texture similar to a spike moss. And I don't know if you guys know about spike moss, but personally, I always struggle with that one. It does fine for me outdoors, but when I bring it inside, even into this grow space, I have more issues with it, partially because if it is rubbing up against anything, you lose that foliage. And it's just, it's kind of finicky, you know? It has been for me. The temperatures I keep in this grow space are very toasty. Like, generally 75 to 88, somewhere in there. And the spike moss, it just, it doesn't seem to appreciate that. Not from my experience, anyways. Not in here. But back to my point. 
I think that this would look really nice planted up with something that's taller and above it that can cast some shade onto it and then this can fill out around that pot and drape down the sides. That would look really, really nice. I haven't really been able to find anything about the toxicity with this one since it is the Nephrolepis Exaltata, just kind of like with the Boston Fern, I would, did I say firm? Fern. I would assume that it's non-toxic should also be a clean air plant, but I don't know for sure. And I do always say, if you're not certain, just to be safe, keep your plants where your pets and people can't get to them. I was gonna say pets and children, and then I stumbled because I realized like, you know, there are plenty of adults that you have to keep an eye on as well. Overall, I really do like this fern. I'm a little bit bummed out that that foliage got messed up right there. I'm wondering if this is a fern that's going to be more sensitive to touch, kind of like with a maidenhair fern, where you want to avoid your oils getting onto it. I guess we'll find out if this dies out on us, won't we? I'll be sure to do an update in the vlog, we'll see if that frond goes bad for me rubbing my fingers on it. Anybody have anything fun to add? I hope so, because this is a new one for me. <laughs> Comment down below. It's a plant chat, it's Fern Friday. I'm loving Fern Friday. A short, quick one, I still, I think that's fun. Nothing wrong with that. Open up some communication a little bit. We can all learn from each other. That is really pretty. There's something about it that the lushness it just it makes me happy and the texture it has a really cool texture to it like it's ruffled and fluffy at the same time which is why it doesn't want to focus there's all types of different angles reflecting light back at the camera that's okay it's pretty I think you can tell right so not only in the vlog but I will be sure to keep things updated in my social media so follow me on Instagram or any of the others that I have posted down below in the description of the video follow me and I'll follow you back I've seen everybody's plant pictures and nerding out with everybody and don't forget to leave the video a thumbs up. Makes a difference for the videos and for the channel. I do appreciate it, so thank you. And I upload multiple times a week, so subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you know new videos come out. What do you guys think of the cotton candy fern? Have you grown it? You just seen it around? Let me know. I do know that there are some variances and variables with the naming of the plant. I didn't want to dig into all that because it just honestly got really complicated and I was like, I feel like I'm just going to mess it up, so... With the Texas cotton candy, that's what we're going with. There's so many different types of ferns, I can't even begin to try and figure out what it is if it doesn't have a label. I mean, with the, like, they're common things, right? Boston ferns, Kimberly Queen ferns, but this, that, that, not so much. This one's not normal. She's kind of weird. As always, hope everybody's doing well, having a fantastic life, and everything's just going beautifully for you. And as always, most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.